That's Alvarez launches, and Jordan Alvarez's postseason success continues. Three nothing Astros. He almost single-handedly won the, the, the division series last year against Seattle. And he has given Houston a 3-0 lead on Ober and the Twins here in the third. We've been talking about him throwing changeups, throwing changeups. First at bat to Alvarez, changeups early in the count. Blew him away with two strikes. Strike him out. Changeup right there, Alvarez does not miss it. That ball was smush. Alvarez with a response. His second of the game off the pole. Alvarez said he got that. <laughs> yep. This left-hander is at two today, one against the righty, and then that one. A moment ago off field bar, the left-hander. Let's not forget Jordan Alvarez was player of the month in September for the American League, okay? You got to go through this very difficult part of the lineup. Bregman's aboard for Alvarez, who lifts one to deep left center field. Back goes Stevenson at the wall, and it's gone. Another shot for Jordan Alvarez, his third of the series, and the Astros are finally on the board in the eighth. We talked about it yesterday. Sometimes the biggest jump jolts you can get for your team is the starter getting out of the game, giving you some good mojo. Finally, we can go after somebody, you know, and maybe that's what's happening here. This is what happened yesterday. You'll we'll yep. see if it happens the other way around. Minute Maid Park is back to life after this swing from Alvarez the other way for a homer. We well, think you have a contain tonight. He's over three or two punches. And then all of a sudden he just lays into this ball to left field. Stevenson thought he had a chance. He just sneaks over the left field wall high up there. This guy's unbelievable. <laughs> six down, six nothing. All of a sudden, the crowd's kind of back into it. The Astros are feeling a little bit in their dugout. Mackey, the pitching coach of the Twins, went out there to shut down the momentum right away. See, that's a hit too. That's a hit. <laughs> same spot for Alvarez hugging that first base line. It's going to be the same result. He's going to end up at second base. Kepler got to it fast, as fast as he could, but Jordan Alvarez officially his fourth hit of the series, all for extra bases. Stop pitching to this dude. I know there's nobody on, but this guy is an animal. Sonny Gray tried to go to the well one too many times, tried to throw a fastball in. Same ball, same pitch Alvarez hit his first to bat. This one's hit a little bit harder. Even with Kirilov back, it beats him down the right field line for a leadoff double. And Alvarez strokes one down the right field line, another breaking ball, and Alvarez punches it into the right field corner for a third time. And this guy is inevitable right now. He's got five hits in this series, all for extra bases. Stop pitching to him. You've been saying it, AJ. You've been saying it. It is incredible. Alvarez hits one high to right field pretty well struck back to the wall and gone. This guy is on a different planet right now. Your Don Alvarez with his fourth home run of the series. His second off over and it's seven to one. My goodness. Don't pitch to him. I don't care what the situation is. It's unbelievable. Buddy, you played. I'm, I, I hesitate to make the comparison, so I won't make the comparison for the two guys directly. But you played with Barry Bonds. And this is the type of like stuff you saw from Bonds where no matter who the pitcher was, no matter what the pitch was, he was hitting it a long way. And you're saying you got to treat him like Bonds. Don't pitch to him. It's unbelievable how great he is in the division series, especially, but in the postseason. And again, we forget he ended the regular season, the September player of the month. But what Jordan Alvarez has done in his career in the postseason is 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 magical. The body's 2-1. Alvarez <laughs> turns in the ball. There it goes. Jordan Alvarez gets the Astros on the board with an upper deck home run.
when a hitter has taken away your fastball and you got numbers like now nine for 12 you feel lost as a pitcher and he tried to pitch him totally different I watched all the at bats the fastball he just crushes and it's the angle of which Evaldi throws in the release point and the ability to not maybe have that pitch that kind of hard slider in hammers the ball down the line his second of the game cuts it to one The amazing Jordan Alvarez with his sixth home run in six games this postseason. Well, it almost looked like a get me over slider, and this was not a get me over homer. This ball was crushed, and this guy is a one man wrecking crew. Didn't feel well yesterday, probably didn't feel as great today, but you can't tell by his two home runs. Two two here it comes line drive center field base hit Alvarez two runs coming to score and with two strikes in the seventh Alvarez comes through. Well they rolled the dice and went right back in there this guy's too good of a hitter to give him that many looks it wasn't a horrible pitch but he just is able and strong enough to get the barrel of the bat on it. They have to play so deep. Really thought they would go to the breaking ball there, but you got to see this guy pull his hands in. And even though that wasn't on the barrel, this is a great postseason hitter. Now it's 10 runs knocked in. Infield's pulled in, playing here on Alvarez to pull. He spanks one into center field and continues his incredible postseason, scoring Alex Bregman from third. And it's three to nothing, 10 pitches into the game. What a blitz. Well, we see the Rangers do this to a lot of people, and we're getting a taste of their own medicine right here in their home ballpark. Fastball right over the middle of the plate, and not enough time to talk about how good this guy is in the postseason. Astros have double digits 10 to 3. 13 runs batted in in eight games. Ooh. Alvarez jam shot right center. It's down. Here comes Altuve. Alvarez and Altuve combine to get the Astros on the board quickly. This is a difference right now and this big slugger just finds hits too. he gets to the inside cutter and he's strong enough to just get it in the outfield grass because they got to play him so deep. Perfect start for the Astros to come home. They're tired of hearing the narrative that they can't win here. Well they got two games. Who's are having to work here against the monstrous Ever intimidating your Don Alvarez. His seventh pitch he is lifted the other way. How did he get to that ball? Carter to the wall. Not going to get it. Alvarez tugging for third. Here's the throw. Not going to get him. He went a foot off of the plate and tripled off the wall. This is just why this guy's so good and so strong and why this park was made for him. That's not a bad pitch. That's the backdoor curveball on his front foot. And this is unbelievable. Carter actually over jumps it, right? That's a tough wall to go up against. Cracked in the ground and through. The incredible Jordan Alvarez has his third hit of the game, and he's driven in Alex Bregman to make it 10 to 3. I mean, 
this postseason is hitting close to 500. Can you give the MVP even if they don't win it? <laughs> to a losing player, right? <laughs> he just doesn't budge. And look, he's not going to hit a home run every single time, but he takes away every strength the pitcher has.